Before the video starts, I just want to announce that my Discord is now open to the public. So if you'd like to join, click the link down below in the description and come talk to me and some of my friends. Let's not lie, the Steam client isn't the prettiest thing anymore. It hasn't been updated in quite a number of years and still looks pretty outdated by today's design standards. Everything is so clean and sleek these days and Steam's client just doesn't match that too well. So I'm going to be showing you how to put a Steam skin on your Steam client to make it look that much better. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to open up my internet browser of choice being Google Chrome and I'm going to show you a few of my favorite skins. So this is steamskins.org which has a lot of Steam skins to choose from made by community members and such and such. So there's quite a few to choose from and it's up to you which looks best to you. But personally there's not many that I like on this site but it might be some for you that you really like. So I've actually already picked my two that I really like. So I like Metro for Steam, this is what I use on a regular basis. You can see down here, that is a very sleek and minimal uh, Steam skin to choose from. And there's also this other one called Air for Steam, which is really nice. And here are some screenshots of that. It reminds me of the uh, Ubisoft sort of uh, Uplay client look. It's nice and blue with some white and all of that, and it looks really nice. There's also this site called steamcustomizer.com and this is where you can make your own steam skin. It's quite limited in what it could do but if you want the default steam skin with some extra flair and extra customization you can do that. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to use this. So you just change all your settings here. So I'm going to go with trebuchet and then change your accent color. I like the orange and then your uh, alert color which I'll match with the orange and then We'll go, there's a logo option down here, and I'm going to click my Sabuna logo, press OK, shrink it down, and now you can see that it's popped my logo behind everything up here, which looks pretty cool. Scroll down further, we can see there's more options here, like your online color and all that, and your in-game color. So for your old choose from and then there's like more options with friends and more options with dialogue and all of that sort of stuff that you can mess with on your own time. If you don't want to mess around and just want to get one that's pre-made, you can also check out community.steamcustomizer.com slash explore and there's lots of custom ones that people have made with this tool and some of them actually look pretty nice. So now I'm going to actually show you how to install these. So I'm going to install Metro for Steam because that's the one I like the best. So I'm going to go to this download link and then wait for it to download. So now that it's downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to extract it from that folder. So now it's extracted to Metro 424 and what I'm going to do is navigate to our Steam directory. So copy this folder and then navigate to your Steam directory. So it's under usually program files x86 and then scroll down to Steam and then scroll down to skins and then paste it in. Then what you want to do is go to your Steam client, go to Steam up the top, settings, interface and then Metro 424, press OK and then restart Steam. This will open up Steam and restart it with the new skin installed. So now you can see that Steam's loaded up with a new Metro skin and it looks really, really nice. So we can just go around and see how it's purple instead of blue. The notification color is purple. It's also sleek and looks really good in my opinion. Anyway, that was my tutorial on Steam skins and just my general overview on them. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like the video. It would mean a lot to me. I will see you all in the next video.